What's going on gents, welcome back to a, another little video, so we're not out on the bike today, we are going to be doing an unboxing, as you've already seen by the title, but anyway, before the video gets started, I just want to say uh, apologies for the lack of light, um, you should still be able to find uh, or see everything fairly well, um, but it's basically the best it's going to get, and also uh, for the lack of activity on the channel, um, basically I've been dealing with going back to work and some other stuff that's going on, so I just haven't really had time to make any videos, so I thought I would make uh, a little one today um, on my new helmet that's uh, arrived a, about a week ago. So this is the uh, Atlas 2.0 from Rurock, uh, and it is a pretty premium, pretty nice helmet. So it comes in this nice a uh, fairly premium black box um, which you would expect sort of from a 400 pound helmet um, you would hope it's a little bit posh um, it also comes in like a a, a brown delivery box with the Rurox logo on it but that's not as exciting um, but yeah anyway let's jump in and show you what is inside so I have already opened the box and just taking a look at the helmet to make sure you know it's the right one and everything so, uh, inside of here, you get the helmet itself uh, in a very nice helmet bag. You also get uh, another visor, we'll go through that in a minute. And you get a bag of uh, goodies from Rurok. So, um, oh yeah, and you also get silica gel, uh, don't eat it, because I know some of you would love to do that. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a box, it's got felt in it. It's quite nice. But let's get out of the way. So, let's just move that one out of the way. Well, try not to knock the bloody helmet off. Nice. Right. So, uh, yeah, the helmet, as I said, comes in that nice little helmet bag. Let's get that one open from the bottom. Really nice and quickly. So, uh, I've gone with the uh, El Diablo helmet. Um, it's basically um, like this red, pretty aggressive design. I was going to go with the Shuriken, which is like their black model with gold and stuff on it, but um, I've always had black helmets and they're a little bit boring, and this is a bit more exciting. Um, yeah, it does come with the clear visor on it, and this visor's in the uh, visor bag with a sticker on it, but I just took that off, and I took it out for a quick spin to just make sure everything uh, fits nicely. Uh, so yeah, uh, in this bag, which would be on the helmet, and it would be the other way around, there is the clear visor. If I can pop it out. There you go. Yeah, there's a nice sort of standard clear visor for the helmet. Um, so yeah, as I said before, the black one would be in the bag, and the clear one would usually be on the helmet when you get it. Um, but they just swapped around as I went out for a quick spin with the black visor. Um, you also get this sort of uh, bag of stuff. There's not a lot in here. Um, we'll just go through that quickly. So you get some stickers, uh, some brew rock, and some helmet ones, which are actually quite nice, to be honest. Um, let me put those down there. And you also get a poster, which is... I'll show you this quickly. It also sort of doubles as instructions for everything that's in there. Um, but it's just the Atlas Core, and then you get the Atlas uh, logo and the Raw Rock logo, which is pretty nice. In terms of fitting a new visor, it's nice that they put the black one in there so that you don't have to buy another visor. Um, I think everyone sort of wants a dark visor. It uh, looks a little bit better, in my opinion, with the red. Um, I'm thinking about getting the red uh, iridescent one as well, um, which also looks pretty nice. Uh, but it's a little bit more money. Uh, but yeah, anyway, in terms of fitting a new visor, you have to... There are some people looking at me with some strange looks outside. Why am I wearing a helmet inside? Um, in terms of fitting the new visor, there are these two locks that you take off. So it uh, twists those around to the left. There's one. And one around the other side, twist it off. Uh, 
don't know, it is important that you don't lose these because uh, otherwise you won't be able to fit another visor. Um, or any visor for that matter. So then the visor sort of comes off and the, you want these two black bits that also come off. So that's step one to fit a new visor. That one can go over there. And then in terms of putting the new visor on, you take these two bits, make sure they are the right way around. So they've got the Ruro lock, uh, the Rurock logo on them, sorry. So you can make sure they are on the right side. Like so. And they clip in there fairly nicely. Come on, there you go. Yep, nice. And then that just slips on there and clips in with the sides. And then you grab these two uh, little pins again. They've got some sort of sticky outy bits and you just line that up with the side holes here and then you twist it back around to the right and it locks in place same with the other side it doesn't matter which pin you use for which side they're the same there you go it's locked in and twist it around to the right and then uh, there you go there's a new visor on um, in terms of the new features for the helmet there is the new pin lock system for the old 1.0 you needed a tool to do that you don't now which is just really nice um, there's also progression in the way that the visor comes up uh, one two three four I think that's five positions with the fully closed position there's also you can't quite see it but there's also a really nice pin lock on there so that'll lock shut um, and helps to deal with wind noise there's also a nice seal around here which there wasn't before so also that's another wind noise thing um, in terms of the inside of the helmet you get two emergency cheek pads I believe these are new so uh, if you have a crash people can just rip these out if you need to take the helmet off you also get this uh, chin curtain, which also, again, helps with wind noise. Um, it's quite nice on there, actually. The locking mechanism is something which I believe is called the Fidlock. And uh, it's basically a strong magnet which just clips on there. And then this red uh, tape pulls it off nice and easy. Uh, in terms of opening and closing your vents on the side and the top and everything, there is a uh, sort of button in here which slides back and forth. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's one in there, sort of just in front of the uh, the chin. And that slides up and down to open and close vents. There are three positions for that one. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I've sort of tried to test out and I couldn't really make out the difference. Um, uh, but I'm sure somebody will be able to say something about that in the comments. Um, another thing as well, there's, uh, as there was before, the space for the shockwave system which is atlas's or Rurock, sorry uh, it's their like bluetooth headset which goes into the helmet and you can connect that up to your phone and make calls and stuff which is quite cool i might be getting that soon um but yeah just two screws there and that goes in there um so that is pretty much it for everything you get in the helmet box um yeah it's a really nice designed helmet um it's super super light uh, extremely comfortable the only thing I would say is I'm not sure it's if it's my head or not but taking it off there's quite a lot of plastic around here and taking it off it does scrape the back of my head slightly um, so I don't know whether that's just me or whether that's with everyone um, feel free to let me know if you've got one of these helmets but apart from that it is just a really nice um, designed helmet it's really unique that's why I got it because it's just something a little bit different um, but that's pretty much it for this video um, thank you for watching thank you for clicking on the channel um, if you've enjoyed it feel free to like and subscribe and yeah I hope everyone's uh, doing alright in lockdown and whatnot. Um, yeah and hopefully there should be some more videos soon so uh, have a good one guys and uh, enjoy the rest of your day